Well, we got up early this morning and then drove north to Montana. We're hunting up here with a good friend, Doyle Moss. Um, you can see kind of some of the country we're hunting. It's just some big canyon country, a lot of pines, and then a, a bunch of open faces that we're finding these bears on. You know the way we're hunting, and we're just driving to some vantage points, uh, trying to locate some bears, and then you know deciding if we can go after them or not. It's kind of a special hunt. This is one of my favorite places that, that I've ever been. We've been here a few times uh, in the past, and it's just, uh, the country's amazing. I mean, the, the scenery, but also the just the location and, and the amount of game that you see. This is probably one of the barrier spots on the planet, I think. I guess what makes it pretty special is I brought one of my sons, Eli. He's on the gun. It's pretty cool. He'd kind of been putting a gun together. We shot it last night, got a zero, did some data, got our turret done, and um, you know he's he's tuned up, ready to go. Uh, he's already beaten his dad on the glass. He spotted up a black bear across the canyon here. So I think he's he's in the game. He's. Uh, it looks like a pretty nice black. He's over there feeding in the grass and the flowers. And we're going to sit here and watch him for a few minutes. We'll keep glassing and see what we can do. It's a really good bear, solid blacky. It looks like a really nice boar just sitting there eating the bugs and the little roots in the, on that shelf. But uh, give him a few minutes. Weather, the wind is terrible right now to even try to kill that bear. So hopefully he can work south and then we come right in behind him on the same level and get him killed. Another day here in Wyoming. Got Derek here and just myself. We left uh, left the house this morning around two o'clock. Got here around six thirty. Been glassing, but we have today and tomorrow to make something happen. spotted like 20 head of deer and without looking very much there's a deer in there that is probably big enough for Derek and I to go over there and kill it so he's got really deep forks and I was looking at it behind and you're not you're not usually supposed to judge him from behind but he's really heavy and that's what we're looking for We just came to the top of this, and we can't find those deer. We're thinking they fed off into the backside of it. So we're gonna devise a plan, see if we can't get over there without blowing them out. Well guys, after a long time crawling on our knees and elbows, we finally located the does that we seen this morning. We just need to find the bucks. We're just gonna sit here and wait until the bucks come down to the does. Might be a long time, so we're gonna get comfortable.
Well, that bear looked big enough. We thought we'd better make a move on him. We spent the last probably 20 minutes driving around to the other side of that big canyon. And we're walking in through the timber, I think. According to the GPS, he should be right down here. Uh, pretty close, if he's still out in the middle. Let's hope he is, but it um, could get exciting. We're only two hours into it. He's thinking this bear might be pretty close. You know, one thing about Doyle, he likes to get you real, real close to his animals. We like sitting back a little ways and shooting them from afar, but you know, this could happen pretty quick. It might be a hundred, might be two hundred. We'll see what happens. just about 50 yards back here it started changing up a little bit and he was feeding right here but he, he either smelled us or or he was already moving but he's gone now but we had him at 50 yards man it was gonna be good it was good bear what do you think of it i don't know he was kind of bigger than that when i shot him i don't know i think yeah i just i just seen him right there yeah not even a time for a shot, was it? Nah. There should be more than one here, so let's go find the other one. Sounds good. Mm -hmm. One stock down, who knows how many to go, but uh, uh, that's that's what makes it fun. Um, man, we got in close to that bear. You know, we're usually perched up high, glassing points and, and spotting them and shooting them, but you know, the big rush is getting in on them close and making it happen. And, uh, man, we got we got the best guy in the country, or one of them. And, I mean, he put us right on that bear, but you can't control the wind. And, and they're wild animals. I mean, they're, they live here. This is their backyard. So uh, they're used to things how they should be. And if they sent something that isn't, they're gone. Man, it was a big bear. It was pretty cool. Supposedly there's a good canyon over here to glass, but we've been walking for quite a while. I think he might be just taking us on a walk around the mountain because we're kind of bored, but just catch up. Hopefully we get lucky. Okay. Well, we've uh, we spent the morning on those points looking for bears, and um, you know we've seen a couple more. You know, this time of the year, it's kind of the rut for the bears. You know, we're mid-June, um, the rut's just really coming on, and so finding a sow is not a bad thing. We're hoping we're hoping some of these sows will pick up a boar. We're just kind of up on a high knob doing some more glassing. We've got some really good country in front of us, some spots that uh, they've been seeing some bears on in the past, and so we're just gonna spend some time behind the glass, and hopefully something turns up. We just closed the distance by half. We come up from the top of those mountains up there. We're gonna pop up over the top of this and see what it looks like, see if we have a shot on this deer.
get all our stuff together. We're gonna go back to the ranger. I think I found a road that'll take us down to the bottom of this. It's still pretty far, but gets us close enough, and then we'll hike up in here and get our hands on that big here. Only about 60 yards away. Six Creedmoor, 108 ELDM. Did the job. We're gonna get this thing packed out and uh, hopefully be home before midnight. That's a whole deer and one little tiny key back back there. It's actually not that heavy. We're gonna have that far of a hike out. We'll be right in the ranger and back to the truck. to the truck. Peace out, guys. Yeah, man, things can just change like that. You know, we've been, last couple hours, just glassing, not a lot of luck. It's kind of got a little rained on, sun came up, beat down on us, and everybody about to fall asleep in the truck. We look across this canyon, and we see a lone, a lone bear, and, uh, you know, nothing special. We roll up a little further and and, uh, and then we see the boar. And he's a tank. Big fat noggin, just jet black. Man, he's worth it, he's a big boy. So I, I ranged him with the range finder, 1,780 yards, he's a mile away from us right here. So, what do you think? You look at the sow and you think, oh, that's a pretty good yeah. sized bear. And then, yeah, you look and at then that you see that thing. No he's, neck, just fucking toad, huh? Yeah. Big old no, He's pretty big. You know, we're right smack dab in the middle of June. It's kind of the rut. And that's why you're seeing these, these bears paired up. You got this boar, he's just following that sow. Um, you know, we got a 45 minute drive around, bail off the hill. It's like, who, who knows where they'll be, you know, an hour from now. But uh, just keep an eye on him, see what he does. We got, you know, it's. What time is it? Three o'clock. We got four or five hours of good daylight left. So, I mean, if if he gets into a spot where we can get into position, that's the bear to shoot, buddy. That's twice as big as your Idaho bear. <laughs> Maybe not quite twice. Best we can to get down there. I got back up. The ice is on point. Three sixty, bud. Three point one minutes. Okay, until he turns broadside. Got you on him, bud? Yep. Okay, he's turning broadside, right there, right there, right there. There, right there, right there. Right there, perfect. Oh, perfect shot, perfect shot. Get him again. Oh, he's down. Dude. What a hey, giant! Hey, I'm proud of you, son. Way to get on him. Way to get on him. Dude! You've got him a five. Thanks, What a giant! Oh, good shot, son. Hey, when the blood's pumping. <laughs> and I'm proud of this kid. This is uh, this is only a second guided hunt, and uh, you know we've hunted a lot together, but. Uh, you know, to be here with uh, with an outfitter and a camera guy, I mean, there's a lot of pressure, especially when we're in a hurry. It's like, 
You got right on him? Perfect, man. You drilled so him nice, good, too. Buddy. I'm out of here, man. Hey, and I was on backup. I didn't even get to shoot it. <laughs> Thanks so much. Hey, thank you. You say he did go down? Built the best guns ever, man. Oh, yeah. Thanks. Hey. I think I was probably more nervous than this kid. Huh? Oh, he's big. He took up freaking full size of the red bulls. Wasn't a long shot, um, but what was so difficult about this was just the rush that we were in. You know, he was just about to get away. Dark timber on the other side. Yeah. And if you if you look across the canyon here, I mean, where we started from. We've made it a long ways in the short time we did. Run down the hill, set up, get a range, get dialed, everybody get set up, pull the trigger. Freaking perfect. Look at the noggin on that thing. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, yeah. Look at the white patch. Lift him up. Look at the holy feet. smokes. That bull, that bear is going in the show. Dude. Yeah, yeah. Look holy at the crap. White Gun work smoke again. Sweet deal, man. My gosh, what a bear. Oh, Look at that. The freaking Look noggin that. on that thing. <laughs> oh. Oh. Oh, guys, Thank buddy. you. Look at the snout on that thing. Oh, yeah. He's ancient. Hey, that's a bear of a lifetime, buddy. Seriously. You need to thank uh, Raquel, is that her name? Jackie. Jackie, yeah. sorry. Yeah, hey, Jackie, by the way. Thanks, Jackie. I'm sorry you were on vacation, but uh, Elias is pretty happy. Yeah. We'll send you a really pretty picture. <laughs> Sweet. Oh, my gosh, what a bear. Oh, hey, that just goes to show you how fast it changes. Yeah. You know, slow afternoon. You know, everybody getting tired of sitting in the truck, and then boom, run, drive, speed, kill. Tell your dad this bear's going to Spanish for <laughs> Probably needs to. Thanks, Mike. Hey, thank you, buddy. Appreciate, Appreciate it. All. Appreciate you building the best guns in the world, man. Yeah. <laughs> Look at this bear. How special. Ancient white pack. Yeah, we couldn't see that from a mile away with the binoculars. Big brown snow. Oh, sad. Sad. What a monster. It's always your kids that get the big animals, you know? You never kill a bigger man in your life. Yeah. That's pretty awesome. Yeah, we kind of made a comment about Jackie. She does all our purchasing and receiving and, and uh, kind of in charge of the shipping. And uh, this was her hunt, but um, she couldn't come earlier in the year. And then uh, now as she was uh, scheduled to come, she had to go out of town and she was nice enough to donate that tag to one of us. And a couple of us had already shot bears up here, so we gave it to the to the kids. And man, what a, what a dream bear. That's a beautiful bear. Uh, be a long time if ever to get one bigger than that. Cool. This will be at the Salt Lake show. Cool. Hey, so what do we need to do? Let's pose him up and get some pictures, huh? Pick it up in here.